Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related with a little bit of emphasis on the brands Vera Bradley and Lug. I also occasionally, but very rarely, do some content related to concealed carry and how that works with all these beautiful bags that I love. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around and let's hang out. So today's video is another Vera Bradley haul. I'm not sure if I'm going to put my online outlet sale order and the retail order together or if I'll split them into two but we'll see how it goes see how long this first part goes so let's just start with the retail side so all of these items come from the recent 25% off of everything sale I told y'all last time how much I am absolutely loving all of the new pattern releases and so when they did another sale, I couldn't resist getting a few more things. So that's what this is. I have a box. There's not a ton in it, but there's there's a decent little amount. So let's get started. Okay, so the first item I picked up was the mini cosmetic in Island Garden. And look, y'all, um, ignore my nails. I painted them a while ago, and um, they're chipping like like your grandma got drunk and cashed in her 401k and headed to the casino, you know? So let's just... Let's just ignore the nails. <laughs> but anyway, this is the mini cosmetic. They didn't release the Island Garden in the mini trapeze cosmetic, so I couldn't get that one, which I love the mini cosmetic just as much. They're just completely different um, shapes, so I like having both. And look, look how lucky I got that these flowers almost lined up to where it just looks like a continuation of that. Like, no way in the world I could have imagined I would get something that decent. I actually figured I wouldn't get anything very good at all on this because this is a large pattern like you can see on the back there's no real semblance of the floral pattern on there. It's just mainly the leaves. So I was super excited to see that where it looked like you know almost one whole flower right there. But we've seen the mini cosmetics before. You have this front pocket on the front front pocket on the front she says yep <laughs> but it is not plastic lined inside there and then you have the main pocket up here and it is plastic lined so these will hold a really good amount I love these for an everyday catch-all in some of my bags but they're just great so that's the first item the mini cosmetic in Island Garden Okay, the next thing that I picked up is the new three-piece cosmetic organizer. Now, I'm going to be honest, I am not super crazy about the configuration that they've done with the new cosmetic sets, but I, I love this pattern and I'm a sucker for it and I was kind of curious. So, one thing that really, uh, I guess was just interesting is... I don't know if you'll be able to see it through the glare, but can you see how much extra space is inside the plastic part of this container? Like if I shake those down, yeah, there's not a huge reflection. You can see this whole back side is kind of just like empty. So these cosmetics don't even really fill up the plastic container. But the plastic container um, is quite a bit deeper than I thought it was going to be. and look I know some people are they don't like these plastic kind of PVC containers or pouches or whatever you want to call them I love them I use them everywhere I use them in my bathroom to contain like extra shampoos and toothbrushes and things like that and I use them around like my vanity to hold some overflow makeup I use them in my collection back here to hold you know, smaller items, zip IDs, and um, my straps, where I've been taking all the straps off of my bags and storing them separately so that the bags lay flatter and stack better. I've been storing my straps in these clear containers, and it works great because you can see what you're reaching for. Anyway, let me shut up and unzip this and show you. Also, another thing I found interesting, if you can see it, is that the zipper little lid part here it doesn't really, I don't know, I don't want to say that it doesn't connect to this part of the plastic down here because it does, but it kind of sits above it. 
if you can see what I mean, almost like a flap that would have maybe snapped onto it. The zipper sits, it's not flush with the plastic. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not flush. It sits out away from it a little bit. So anyway, you do have two zippers and this is a little bit difficult to unzip right now, but I think it's just where, you know, this PVC can be kind of stiff. So just getting around those corners and those sharp edges can be a little bit difficult. But the plastic little part just kind of flaps all the way up and you have two pieces in here. So you have kind of like a little mini cylindrical ditty bag and then this larger cosmetic. So just for reference, to give you an idea on the size of these, if I can hold on to anything, here is that mini cosmetic, just the size of it. If you can see through the plastic-ish this one is longer and much deeper, but the mini cosmetic is taller than this one. And then I guess I can show you the mini next to this little plastic case or like inside it, I guess maybe. That gives you an idea on the size of that. And then the little mini next to the ditty bag thing. So, you know, they're similar. Neither of these are plastic lined, I don't think, but I will double check. Yeah, no, it's not plastic lined. It's just stuffed and it is just fabric inside there. But I love this pattern and I didn't even really get good floral placement on it. I got like a flower there then it's mostly just leaves and a little bit of the flower there. So this little ditty bag is actually sewn in two pieces. So you have a seam here with one panel and then it wraps around and you have another seam on the other side. So it's two panels of fabric and then a seam along the bottom. So panel, panel, panel. And then this kind of elongated flat wide one well, that's a pretty one. I got a really pretty flower on the bottom of this one. It just zips right down the middle. Again, not plastic lined, just fabric. But I'll find something to do with them, something to use them for. If y'all have any ideas on what to use these for, let me know because they're kind of odd shapes and dimensions for me. I'm not used to working with pouches this size but again I love this print I wanted to try this set out so that's the next item the new three-piece cosmetic organizer in Island Garden the next thing I got was another t-shirt I absolutely love the Vera Bradley t-shirts they had one of them on sale but I don't remember which one it was um but this was the what is this called the Waves Twall Extra Lodge. So I did get a proper size this time at least, but, but it just has the little sailboats and the palm tree on it. And it's cute, it's just blue and white, very simple. I'm not gonna take it out because it's a t-shirt. You know, they have the pictures online. I'm not gonna be able to show you anything new about this. So that was the next item. The next one is another Franny. I could not help myself. I tried to resist and I couldn't. This is in that turtle dream pattern that is just so, so daggone cute. Those turtles. I did a full in-depth review on this bag style. You have that top handle strap that is kind of, um, I don't want to say firm. What's the right word? Emma, you should have been helping me find the right word for this one because I'm at a loss. But it's it's got something in it that makes it more rigid, so it's not just fabric. And then it also comes with the adjustable, removable crossbody strap. No outside pockets. Very, very simple little bag on the front. Is this the front? Nope, I'm showing you the back, I think. So the little Vera Bradley tag is right there on the end. 
So if we look at this as the front, you have a slip pocket on the front side, and then the back, you just have a zipper pocket in there, if you can see that. So these bags are just a super simple little hobo shoulder style crossbody bag, whatever you want it to be. But I think they are just so perfect for summer. Is that not just a perfect little summer bag? Your little turtles, your little shoulder, you can put that longer strap on there, use it as a crossbody. It's just so, so darn cute, especially with these turtles. So that leads me into the next item. Okay, so this next item, I really, really tried to resist because I rarely ever use things like this. But <laughs> during both sales, when the new patterns were released on the on February 2nd and this most recent 25% off of everything sale, I kept going back to this item and looking at it because I thought it was so incredibly cute. But I was like, Amber, you're not going to use it. You're not going to use it. Don't do it. You're not going to use it. So the first sale, I resisted it. And then the second one, um, I couldn't. But I just, I couldn't resist it, especially after I went ahead and got the Franny in Turtle Dream. And the item I'm talking about is the little turtle bag charm. Now look at this, you guys. It is so incredibly cute. Look at it. Is that not just adorable if I can get it in the frame? And look, the little fins move. You can move them. It is so cute. It has the, um, the little quick release clasp on it right there. So you can clip it on whatever you want. The little fin is on both sides. It is movable on both sides. And look at the inside. I don't think they put a picture of the inside on the website, which is a real shame. Because it's actually a great little layout. When you open it up, it has the little gussets on each side. So you can actually use it, you know, to hold some stuff. I like the little half moon design with the little gussets. I think that's really useful. But keep in mind that, as always, the gussets do have the little hole at the bottom. Um, I don't think it would be a gigantic deal if you wanted to use it to maybe hold your coins or something. If you just didn't zip it all the way down that one side and just tilted it a bit to get into them. Or you could put chapstick in here. You could put maybe your earbuds. You could roll up some cash and put it in there. I'm not sure. It may even hold like a hand sanitizer. But it's just so adorable. I could not resist. So that little floral design on its shell just wraps all the way around. It is kind of that PVC ish material but it was so cute I couldn't resist and because the Franny has the little metal bits on it I, I can't I can't help it y'all I can't I it's it got me tell me that little turtle on there is not adorable oh my gosh it's so cute I don't even do bag charms very often, but I am, I am in it. I am in it to win it with this little turtle, y'all. I'm in it to win it. <laughs> but that's the next item that I picked up. Okay, and then the last item that I picked up was exactly like the turtle. I saw it during the first sale, and I thought it was super, super cute. But I don't, I'm not sure if it was available at that time. I can't remember. But I saw photos of it and I thought it was so cute, but I, I, I couldn't make myself do it the first time. And then when that sale ended, I kept going back and looking at it again. And I was like, you, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're, you're going to end up with it. And it's even funnier when I show you what it is, because a long time ago, I made that video talking about items that I would not buy from Vera Bradley. And then I tagged some people to do that video in Kieran, um, her channel is the Glam P 
something, some numbers. I can never remember the numbers, but she's, she's awesome. If you haven't checked her out, go check her out. I'll link her in the description box. Um, but she did the tag and then she was talking about something she wouldn't buy. And one of the items on her list, I didn't have on mine, but after I saw it, I was like, yes, girl, preach. I won't be getting that either. No way, no how. And then I made a liar out of myself because not that long afterward, I picked up one of those items because they brought it out. It was new. I thought it was just too cute to resist. And so I've made a liar out of myself again and purchased one of those items again. And what I'm talking about is a straw bag. Yep. I bought another straw bag. So you can't probably see it through this giant market tote full of stuff that I need to get put up because I have boxes upon boxes stacked around me that I need to get through. But the, yeah, I can't get that out right now. But the Adrift Coral Blue was the first pattern that they brought out in the straw items that I fell in love with. And when I saw this one, y'all know blue and green and purple, those cool toned colors are my absolute favorites. And when I tell you that I love the colors in this, I absolutely love the colors in this. There's teal and like an aqua blue. And as you go lower, there's like a navy. There's a little bit of like a pinky purpley lilac in there. The mint green, a little bit of white. I just love the stripes and they're not uniformed. They're kind of wavy. I just think it's so pretty and I love the colors in it and I think it's so cute for summer. Plus, I haven't undone this strap yet. Let me do that and I'll show you. Maybe if I can do this the right way. So, I haven't adjusted the strap or any of that just yet. But, this is another bag that is super, super simple. And if you haven't looked at it yet, I stuffed it with something to give it some shape. Because, as always, they folded this when it was shipped. And that drives me crazy. But anyway, the way that this is designed is it's a little bucket bag. But instead of having a zipper or anything like that, it has this little pouch sewn into it. And the pouch is, I don't, I can't remember if it's, yeah, it's the interior for the Turtle Dream pattern. So it has the little silhouetted turtles with the shells and the little fishies and the coral and all of that. And it's a little pouch sewn in here. So if I can show you right here at the edge, there's a seam and it is sewn in. You can't pull it out. So it is nice and secure in there. But you, it's just like a little ditty bag drawstring closure. So you just cinch it down and it's just, is that not so cute? Oh my lord, that's so cute. You know, of course, I'm sure that if you wanted even more security, you could just tie this into a little bow. That's cute as well. But I'm kind of lazy sometimes, so I highly doubt I would tie mine. I would just cinch it down because, you know, it pretty much cinches completely closed. Nobody's going to get in that. And then let me take this. There was a, a, a plastic mailer bag that some other things had arrived in. So I just stuffed it in there really quick to give it some shape. But if I show you the inside, there are literally no pockets. There's nothing inside here. It is just an open little pouch but you know if this this is a, a fairly small bag I think it's called the small no it's just called straw crossbody in spring mint stripe but you know if you needed more space you could always just leave that open if you were comfortable with it or in a secure enough spot but I'm sure that I can fit my essentials in here so like there's my phone case my phone vertically doesn't even hit the top of the bag here. It lays down horizontally easily like it fell over. And This is difficult to show you, but I'll try. 
so you can see in there that it is a small bag but there's plenty of room so that was laying horizontally if I turn it up vertically you know you can line your items up in there I can absolutely get my phone my wallet my keys um, a small little cosmetic pouch or catch-all pouch whatever you know you can get your essentials in here for sure so it's actually not as small as I thought it was gonna be but let me stuff it back so it has some shape and I will take all of this off the strap and show you what it looks like on me really quickly okay so here is how it sets on me crossbody again I'm five foot two and I did have to adjust this all the way out to the longest setting but you know I'm a little bit bigger a little bit curvier so if you're tinier than I am then you you'll have no issue but if I pull it to the front a little bit I think that's so cute and I couldn't resist throwing the little turtle on there because look how cute he is with this pattern too oh he's so adorable I just love him but that is the little straw crossbody I am absolutely in love with it there's the bottom so you do have that kind of faux leather trim around the bottom along with the little Vera Bradley tag right there the little emblem and this is a buckle adjuster so like I said I put it at the longest setting but it does have the extra little bit there to hold the tail of your strap so that's good I do like that I do wish that this came with the um, like the little slide adjuster strap as opposed to the buckle but it's fine like I'll live I'll deal with it because I think this bag is just so darn cute it is just a little bucket bag with a little cinch pouch super simple I think this is gonna just be fabulous for the summer and look at the turtle with it oh, I love that turtle so so much so that's it you guys that is the rest of the items that I picked up from the retail side during the last sale I hope that you have enjoyed this video I hope if you were wanting some more information about any of these pieces that I was able to help you out if anything I just hope you enjoyed it in your own way maybe it helped you kill some time while you were cooking dinner or something I don't know either way thank you so 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 much for joining me if you have any comments questions or you just want to say hello then as always please leave me a message down in the comments because I absolutely love chatting with you guys and until the next time which is going to be very soon because I have to film this online outlet sale stuff that I bought so until then I'll see y'all in the next video bye guys